Ms. Wilson, you and your family are here because you have a concern about a cat that was killed. Is that correct? That's correct. And that your neighbor, Ms. Nadell's dog, was responsible for that death Absolutely. of your cat. Tell me what happened. Well, one of her children and another neighbor's child was walking their dog alone without an adult, and this dog attacked and killed our 17-year-old cat. You are asking for what, Ms. Wilson? You want the vet bill paid. And the what cremation else? bill. And the cremation. To have him cremated. Do you want to tell me what happened, Ms. Nadell? Um, the cat was lying on the sidewalk motionless. The cat didn't try to run, didn't try to move, didn't fight back when my dog bit it. Um, my son was able to pull the dog away, ran home, told me what happened. I ran up the street. The cat was already gone. Another neighbor told me that Mrs. Wilson had already taken the cat to the vet. So the dog was on a leash? He was on a leash, licensed, rabies shot, the whole thing. All right, tell me what happened, Ms. Wilson. Okay, when I got back from the vet, this woman was nowhere to be found. If it had happened in reverse, I would have flown up there to apologize, to see what I could have done. Ms. Nadell, That's... did you go and make any effort to contact the Wilson Your, family? Your Honor, I was at a neighbor's house. I was extremely upset. My son was extremely upset. Um, we were trying to calm everyone down. When Mrs. Wilson came to the door, I apologized immediately to her. She didn't want to hear my apology, started screaming at me that she was going to report me. Um, and I cursed at her, which was totally wrong. And I did apologize for it later. Christine, this is your cat that you've had practically all of your life? Talk seven. to me. What happened? I was seven when I when I got him uh, from a shelter. Um, I had him for 17 years. Unfortunately, he had an affinity for going outdoors, which was the only reason why I allowed him to go outdoors. And I, I came home on this night, and my sister told me that he had been attacked by a dog. And what has made this thing ten times worse than losing my baby, which I felt like he was my child was that I feel no remorse and forget about remorse she has not even taken responsibility for the death of my cat so why haven't you taken responsibility I did offer to pay Mrs. Wilson half the vet bill because I felt partially responsible the cat was obviously very ill and very old and sick and excuse should not have me. been outdoors excuse anyway me, excuse me one moment Ill. and um, then the so harass how do you know the cat was ill any healthy cat, Your Honor, could get away from a dog on a leash. You have a counterclaim. Talk mm -hmm. to me about this counterclaim. You're saying that not only do you not owe her any money, mm -hmm. but that she now owes you money after her cat died. Well, this is what happened. The night of the, after the cat was um, bitten, um, she called the police, and the police officer arrived at my home. The police officer himself said, don't go near that house. Don't go near them. So I listened to the police officer. Um, then I sent the plant. The plant was returned to me. It was left on my porch that night that did I sent it. Did you ever it. receive the plant, Ms. Wilson? Yes, I did, Your And Honor. you sent it back? I did, and I left that up to my daughter. My son asked if he could go up the block to get a friend to play kickball. I said, sure, why not? He's 10 years old. You can walk up the block by a few houses up to get a friend. He comes running down the block saying, they're chasing me. Behind him, the Wilsons are chasing my son down the block. <laughs> they said he smirked at him, stood in my driveway, cursed and screamed at me, verbally assaulted my son, said to him, what the F are you looking at when he looked over at them? Chased him down the street, stood in my driveway, and cursed and screamed at me. And I asked him very nicely, I said, if you want to talk to me recently, that's fine, I'll talk to you. I apologized over and over for the death of the cat, how terrible I felt. They didn't want to hear apologies. Then. I had to call the police. I called the police officer. They still wouldn't leave after the police officer told them to. Now, it who, took him. who's out here standing in your driveway cursing um, at you? Who are these people? I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure who everyone is because um, I, I've never seen them before before that day. So it was. So how are you? How do you know they have any? To because the uh, she was calling him dad, and and it just and then oh the neighbor one of the neighbors lives right next door to them told me who everyone was. A so, second so, ago you said you didn't know. Well, now I didn't, the neighbor I next didn't have, door tells I didn't you. Have, I didn't at first when they first came over, but then I, I can't remember who everyone was. What the, she told me later that they were. I don't know names. All right, so, Ms. Wilson, what do you know about this incident? Okay, I do know about this incident, and the reason why we came down at all was because this was really bothering Christine. Again. So how much are you claiming in your counterclaim? Three thousand dollars. And the and the basis of that is the harassment. The harassment and the embarrassment. I am ruling that you will be responsible for all of the veterinarian bill. Three hundred and sixty six dollars as well as Miss Wilson, creation is a personal choice. Right. I am not going to have her be responsible for okay. that cost. However, I will deny her counterclaim of three thousand dollars. I am not convinced that you set out to harass her family. We'll stand adjourned.